All right, so here we are. We are finally at Curse of Chucky. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into the video. Let's get started. Hello, so we are going to do another review and reaction. This time, my friend here, Anime Senpai, will be reacting to... And we will be reviewing Curse of Chucky, which came out in 2013. Now, I don't want to say too much about the movie before we start it. Because I want him going in completely blind. But, just so you're aware, do you know that this movie actually takes place 9 to 10 years? Like, it doesn't take place like it was made 9 to 10 years after Seed. Well, I didn't know that there was... I mean, I think I heard, like, at some point there was no movies for a long time. And then uh, suddenly there was movies again. Yeah. I think I remember... Uh, I think it was... I, I was in college, like, if this came out in 2013, then I was just finishing up college. I was in my last year. So I might have heard some people talking about it. Now that you've had uh, some time to think about... The last one you watched, Seed of Chucky, do you remember anything? Do you have any previous thoughts that you might have forgot to mention in the last video? Mm, no, I don't really have anything that I would like to add or whatever. Except for I still remember that. Um, I still don't really like it that much, even after thinking about it and all that stuff. I do want to let you know... Um, we actually did get a comment on The Bride of Chucky where, uh, you know, I had made the statement about how Tiffany, I didn't like how they kept changing Tiffany to make her good, not wanting to be a killer. What are your thoughts on that situation? Like, in these two movies, Bride and Seed, her turning from basically a stone-cold killer at the beginning of Bride shifting over to trying to be good. What are your thoughts? Well, for me it very much depends on how it's handled. Uh, uh, the way uh, it was dealt with, with Tiffany, I mean, it didn't bother me so much. The only thing that Bothered by the dumb, dumb dog. Uh, the one thing that that I mean, the, it didn't really bother me since you know uh, there was that funny scene um, where she uh, cut out um, th that guy's innards, which that's one thing I would like to add. You know, cutting that stuff out, uh, his intestines, that's gonna freaking stink like uh, like. Who knows how bad? Yeah. Uh, so, um, but I mean, I mean, there was a couple problems maybe with Tiffany, but I mean, I didn't mind it as maybe some as some people would, but I mean, it's just I guess it's just me. Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, I just think that you know the whole thing with Tiffany is she started off great. She was a perfect companion for Chucky. And yeah, they had their little squabbles here and there, but then slowly through Bride, it changed to her becoming a good person. She w didn't want to be a killer anymore, and it's like, really? This from the person who did that thing at the beginning of the movie? <laughs> yeah, killed the cop and then killed, uh, well, didn't really kill that one guy. Uh, that was, she basically yeah. let him do his death. Yeah. So, anyways, today we are going to on with the series, and we are up to cult, no, Curse of Chucky. Do you have any thoughts or opinions about this movie before we begin? I just hope it's better than Sea of Chucky, because I, I don't like that movie. Well, we will, well, I can, I guess I can tell you this much. Uh, Don Mancini, the director... Everybody, every Child's Play fan knows this, but basically this was his attempt to 
shift the series back towards straight up horror. So I guess after you watch, you can tell, you know, if you think he achieved that goal. Oh, so he's still involved? Okay. Oh, yeah, he's involved through the whole series. This is his baby, you know. This is his... He's the George Lucas of Child's Play, okay? Oh. Only he didn't sell out and sell it off to another company. So... Okay. And we will be back after we're done.
So, who's next? Play with this. Andy! Alright, so you just finished Curse of Chucky. Right out the gate, what'd you think? Better than Seed, and... It was better than a couple of movies. I, I, I liked most of it. it was Nika was an interesting character. Uh... It's interesting seeing someone bound by a wheelchair in one of these movies. I don't think that's ever been quite done. But then again, I don't really watch horror, so I guess I can't really speak on that. I mean, I'm sure there might. I'm sure I, there's probably others. What did you think of Chucky this time around? Well, a lot of the movie, I was just thinking, okay, come on, Chucky. Uh, okay, how are you back now this time? And I never did get that answer, so I'm kind of disappointed on that one. And then a couple of... I mean, I wasn't going for him as much as uh, the previous movie. Like, the previous movie, I didn't care who he killed. It didn't matter to me. This one, I was just thinking, uh... So... Of the three m kind of main protagonists, I mean, I guess you could count the Kincaids as protagonists, but they're kind of low on the pole. Um, but between, let's say, Kyle, Chucky, or Kyle, Andy, and Nika, who would you say is your absolute favorite so far? Is it still Kyle? Well, let's see here. And he was just a kid, and you know he did have a couple uh, cool moments and stuff. And speaking of moments, uh, I don't know if I'm jumping the gun, but I did like that little end scene. But um, but Andy was just he was okay. Uh, Kyle, I I really did like Kyle. Um, didn't really care much for her at first. Um, but as the movie went along, I did. But Nika, I was just thinking, okay, this is a kind of an interesting chick. So I'm on the fence. It's a little, it's a little hard for me to decide which one I like best. But maybe I'd probably say Kyle. Mm. But I, it'd be like Kyle and Nika. They're, they're really, really close. Yeah. Um, since you brought it up, what are your thoughts on the post-credit scene? Uh, I was just, well, you know, before I realized who it was, um, I was just thinking, okay, if, if, if I was, unless if I was expecting a package, I would turn the package away at the door. I think he'd been expecting that package for some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably one would say maybe like 20 years. I like the fact that through, you know, so many little hints, you know, you like, it kind of seems like Mike and the mother became a couple after the first movie. By the way, he talked. I, I'd like to see that paid off at some point in the series. Um, did you have a favorite kill? Um, not necessarily this time. Like I said, I wasn't really rooting for anyone to die, but, I mean, um, the one mother at the beginning, uh, I, I didn't really have much attachment to it, and she seemed kind of, honestly, a little, like, a, a bitch. Yeah. So, but, I mean, and you, 
What what was Nika's sister's name? She Barb. Was, oh yeah, Barb. She wasn't a whole lot better. Yeah. Um, with the roulette chili. Did you think you had it figured out or? Oh uh, yeah, I I, I I pretty much suspected it the whole time. I mean, I, I figured it was gonna be the the, the priest, the, the father. Uh, and I was kind of annoyed. Okay, come come on, come on, come on. I I know who it is. Yeah. Uh, and there was like no, no, it was like unnecessary for leading me on because I mean. I was thinking, okay, there's no reason for that per character to die yet, or that one, or that one, or that one. That one seems most likely to go now. Yeah. But they wanted to play with your mind. They wanted to get you. It didn't, you know. it didn't work. <laughs> not well, not really. I'm I mean, still trying to figure out how chili's good without meat, but okay. <laughs> I mean, chili without meat. I mean, I think I had a friend of mine that did uh, make chili with. Without me, uh, because I have a friend who's a vegetarian. Uh, so, I, I, was it chili that he made? Uh, but it was pretty good. I mean, I didn't mind it. It was different. Yeah. I still, I mean, ultimately you can say that the rat poison wasn't the exact cause of that guy's death. But I looked it up, and I guess... Even though it was only it looked like it was only two tablespoons, I swear that wouldn't be enough to probably kill a human. So, but you know, I'm not a poison expert. So, well, I you know, I feel like you someone would you would have tasted it unless. If... I think that just boiled down to the spices, you know, um, maybe covering it up if it was a little too spicy. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't really know how, I mean. And it wasn't something that he obviously ate all the time, so he didn't know how it was supposed to taste versus how it does taste. So he probably could have chalked that up to the odd taste being, you know, that. But um, let's see. So you like this better than Seed? We'll find out, I guess, when we do the ranking. We're getting very close to the end of this series. Do you think Don Mancini managed to uh, take it back to the horror roots that he was trying for? Yeah, I mean, I was like on the edge of my seat, but at the same time, I wasn't at the edge of my seat because I was just thinking, okay, I know something was going to happen. I just don't, I didn't know when it was going to happen. So, th throughout the whole movie, I mean, I okay, I was thinking, okay, Chucky's going to do something. No, he did, he's not going to do something right now? Okay, fine. He'll do something in about a couple minutes. When I saw this movie for the first time, one of the things that really threw me off, and I'm a huge Child's Play fan, is uh, Chucky just didn't look right through most of the first half of the movie. What did you think of that reveal when you find out that it's the Chucky from Seed with the stitches? Oh, I mean, I. It wasn't that like, oh, oh my god. I, I, I was just thinking, okay. I mean, I, I, I suspected something. You know, I was just like thinking, okay. I, I thought maybe, maybe he got into a, a new body, but then or a new doll, whatever. Uh, but then, uh, when it was shown to be it was the same doll, I was thinking, okay, yeah, that makes full sense. Which I think you'll understand more when we get to the next one. So I don't want to spoil anything of that. But, uh, yeah. Um, I definitely, this is this one definitely is climbing the ranks for me. Um, especially upon this rewatch, you know. Um, the next one. A lot of fans say Don Mancini jumped back on his crazy train for the next one. I honestly, I love the next one. Well, but, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll wait to see until I uh, see for myself when I see it. But of course, when I bought this one, I was so I was so taken by that post credit scene because like I said, I grew up with this franchise so to see the original actor fully grown up coming back to play Andy Barkley 
totally had me captivated. I I was like, you know, after I saw that five minute scene, I was like, that was worth the price of this blue yeah. Blu-ray? Yeah. That was worth the price of the Blu-ray. Forget the rest of the movie. I don't care about the rest of it. I could have just gotten that five minutes and that would have been enough for me. Now, that might be a little bit different for you because you did not grow up with this series and you don't have that attachment and haven't seen Andy Barkley so often between the first one and now. I mean, I did have like some of that sense because, you know, they were definitely trying to play on that nostalgia uh, factor because, um, I don't know, but I guess that's the right term to use in this situation. Yeah, but sure. when when uh, they were when the camera was zooming around, and it, I, I was thinking, okay, who's this guy? They they were showing pictures, and I was thinking, wait, is it? And then it showed that one uh, uh, picture of Andy with his with his mom, and I was thinking, oh, really? Well, there was also the diploma for Crete Military School. Oh, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I guess I missed that. And there was a picture of Kyle next to their picture, so. I miss that too. I guess I'll have to, um, I guess I have to pay more attention, uh, if I'm going to check that out again. Yeah. Um. But, you know, the, my, my, the one part I did like about that is, uh, I think Andy said it was like, well, I'll play with this or something. Yeah. And he said, and Chucky says, Andy, like he was like all happy and all that stuff and and just and then the screen blacks out and uh, and he sh kills Chucky. Do you uh, do you agree with Nika's uh, assessment of Chucky that he has completion anxiety? Uh, oh yeah, you know what? actually actually knew kind of yeah because because Chucky went back to Andy. Still couldn't kill him. <laughs> Still couldn't take him down. The thing is, yo, Chucky was stupid enough to uh, think that Andy would fall for such a stupid trick because Andy has dealt with Chucky before, so I don't know what Chucky was thinking in that situation. Well, I mean, honestly, well, what was he going to do? He's already tried to surprise him two other times. He tried to be obvious this time, figuring maybe that would work. <laughs> well, it didn't work. And he, and by the way, did you notice uh, Chucky's mode of transportation this time around? Oh, you talking about... Getting sent through the mail? Yeah. That, that goes back to Child's Play 3. This movie, actually, if you pay really close attention... This movie has a whole lot of nods to the first trilogy. Uh, let's see here. A lot of Chucky's dialogue with the little girl is very similar dialogue he had with Andy in the first movie. Okay. Getting sent through the mail is another thing. The um, way he would run around was similar to the way he would move around in... Uh, second at, Yeah, the second one. So, there are a lot of, like, going back to the originals in this one movie. And I don't know if everybody actually catches those. I did catch some of them. I, I just, since the movie was, the movie almost honestly seemed like two different movies now that I think about it. Uh, like, you know, I actually expected the whole movie to end uh, with that whole thing with it. Uh, with Nika, but then they continued a little bit past that. So, I mean, I guess it was like a movie and then a short movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people say that uh, Don Mancini wanted to do this as a gothic horror. And that's why, like, it takes place, like, in an old Victorian house. Um, it's a rainy night. Yeah, it did rain a lot. They must have really bad weather there. <laughs> but no, um, so yeah, this was uh, Curse of Chucky. And I'm 
Glad you enjoyed this one more than Seed. <laughs> God, it was leagues ahead of Seed. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I like every single one of these movies. I've said this before. I don't know if I've said them in these reviews or if I just said this before during my ranking when I did a ranking a long time ago. But I really do like every single one of these movies. Yes, Seed is at the bottom. It is probably the weakest link. Although it might be getting a little bit of a bump. I'm not sure yet. Wow. <laughs> because there is one that, you know, upon further thought, I might be toning it down. Because the comedy for Seed and the comedy for Bride are about even. There are things I like in the comedy of Bride, but we do get more of Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany in her human form, which is way too hot to handle. So, anyway. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking of, she made an appearance back. I, I was expecting her to be in more, but then when she wasn't in the movie, when I wasn't seeing her, I gave up seeing her in the movie. And then when she finally showed up, I was thinking, oh, She's back, after all. Well, I think the next one... See, a lot of people, they don't like the next one. I actually think the next one is really good. It's really high up on my list. So, I can't wait for you to actually witness, you know, kind of what's the last movie in this franchise before we get to the reboot, which is a, like a whole new different franchise. <laughs> But it's just nice to see that one to compare it to what we could have had. Because that one, the reboot, is a little bit like what Don Mancini wanted to do originally with Chucky. He didn't like or want to do this whole killer doll with voodoo and stuff. So that's kind of where the reboot is kind of like his original idea. But it is more modern and set in the modern age. But we will get to that probably later on maybe after we do your ranking but yeah next up will be cult of chucky i don't know if i've been saying curse this whole time when i met cult but yeah the next one is cult of chucky so just based on that title that might be a little confusing <laughs> well based off the title i expect this is just based off the title uh, this is my speculation before seeing the movie so if Keep this or not in the video. Oh, that's uh, fine. Um, Cult of Chucky. It's going to deal with a lot of fanboys and girls dealing with, like, how... Uh, what I kind of expected for, like, Tiffany uh, at the beginning with, with the, how I thought that was going to go. Uh, so I'm just thinking, okay, there's going to be a whole lot of followers and stuff. But that, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm expecting. That's, that's basically what I have in my head based off of the title. <laughs> let's, see if, let's see if my little head thing is off or close. Or yeah. Well, we will find out next time. Do you want to say what your channel is? Even though there will be a link in the description below. Uh, I'm Anime Senpai and right now I've, I haven't really been uploading videos due to some technical difficulties. Uh, so I will probably be uploading videos again uh, probably another week or so. Anyways, I, I have a lot coming up and I also have stuff that I'm working on for my game. I have a lot of stuff. I just need to figure out what to do with that. So you can find me like Anime Senpai or you can find my game channel Krista. I should probably really call it Krista Uzuki because Krista is pretty vague. But anyways, uh, that's me. Alright, and we'll go on to my closing. See you in the closing. See ya. All right, so that was the video for Curse of Chucky. I want to thank everybody so much for watching all of these reactions and reviews. I am having a really good time with this, and all of your support and views, they really mean a lot. These 
are slowly becoming some of the most popular videos on this channel. So, I'm going to keep trying to do stuff like this. Um, if you haven't, please check out the previous videos. Also, I just want to announce before I go that I have two short stories coming out. Both are available for pre-order right now on Amazon for the ebooks. I have a ton of good ideas for videos coming up. We have one more Chucky movie in this timeline. And then we have a ranking video that me and Anime Senpai did. And we also are going to have him take a look at the remake. So, we still got a few videos left. We'll probably be done with all of this by the end of October. If you haven't seen one of my latest videos, also, this Thursday, I will be doing a live stream on my birthday. I'll be doing one on in the morning on Twitch. I'll be doing one in the afternoon on YouTube on this channel. And then I might do one later in the afternoon or later in the evening on my personal channel for a game or something. So if you want to get a chance to talk to me, I'm probably going to start at about 5 o'clock Mountain Time. And that will be the live Q&A. That'll be the birthday celebration. So if you don't check out any of the others, please try to check out that. I'm inviting everybody to come and talk with me. If you've read my book series, The Guardian of Light, if you've read one of my short stories, or if you are anxious about picking up um, one of my new short stories and want to know more about that, also, I'll probably do a cover reveal for book six. I got a lot of things planned for the live Q&A. So I hope everybody will stop by, say hi, say happy birthday, and join me this Thursday at 5 o'clock Mountain Time. With that said, if you have not yet, please subscribe to this channel so you're notified. Make sure you click that notification bell. And I will talk to you all next time.